Silent Hill for the Room was released in 2004 for PS2, Xbox, and Windows. It's become an underrated classic. While not held in the same esteem as Silent Hill 2 or 3, it's very much worth playing. So let's see which version is best on PC. I found a few issues while trying to emulate the game on Zemu. Firstly, it appeared to be darker by default. This is a minor complaint, but it gets worse. No matter how high I crank the internal resolution, the graphics refused to upscale. It just stayed at native resolution. The cinematics were fine for the most part, but the letterboxes had small gaps which I found distracting. And the lip syncing was just a bit off. On CXBX Reloaded, the game is only in-game, so if you're interested in emulating the Xbox version on PC, Zemu is currently your only option. The PS2 version is emulated on PCSX2, and here it's a totally different story. The only issue I found is a slightly misaligned dynamic shadow. Maybe I'm just a bit pedantic, but it's something worth mentioning. The noise filter can be disabled in the options menu, and this is true for every version of the game. The filter isn't overbearing, but I prefer to have it off. Just like the Silent Hill games I covered previously, Silent Hill 4 has a texture pack. It's quite transformative, perhaps more than I've seen so far. There's also a 60 FPS patch, but I found that some animations ran at double speed. So just stick to the normal frame rate, since it works the best. On PC, the GOG version is easiest to set up. There's also two mods that help to enhance the experience. The first is the PC Fix by Steam006. The second is the Full Motion Video Pack, which gives widescreen cinematics the same effects as the PS2 version. There is a texture mod for the PC version, and it actually looks pretty good, but sadly, it's not compatible with the PC Fix. Perhaps one day, somebody will come up with a solution. But let's compare the game on PC with the modded PS2 version. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.